week nine of the fantasy baseball season. And here's a few hitters I would look to drop this week. The first guy is Marcel Ozuna of the Atlanta Braves. So Ozuna right now, a lot of things going on for him. First, he's out for six weeks with the injury is Ozuna for the fractured fingers. And right here, he's going to be out with a middle finger fracture. At least six weeks was the timetable. And now he's in trouble with the law here after some domestic violence issues have gone on for Ozuna. So right here, baseball, the Atlanta Braves could suspend Ozuna until there's a resolution for what happened with him a few nights ago. And right now, fantasy owners, they don't even want to stash him or wait and see what goes on with his legal troubles here. And he's been dropping 12% of fantasy leagues so far this week and on the season for Ozuna. Seven home runs, 26 RBIs, 21 runs scored, a 213 batting average, and a 288 on base. So right here, the batting average was definitely way down from last season, where last season in the two-month season, he hit 338. So Ozuna, he was in a bad slump. He broke some fingers on his hand. And now with the legal troubles, I think it's a no-brainer drop this week with Ozuna because we don't know when he's coming back. And like I mentioned, he could be suspended until further notice. So right now, I would just go out there and drop him. I know he's got a lot of home run potential, but with his future in doubt right now, I would drop Ozuna, the second hitter. To drop this week's Romeo Tapia of the Colorado Rockies for the first two or three weeks of the season, Tapia was a hot commodity on the wave of wire. But right now, he just hasn't got things going over the last few weeks. And owners have dropped him in 4% of fantasy weeks. So, so far this season for Tapia, 5 home runs, 26 RBIs, 22 runs scored, 5 stolen bases, a two fifty nine batting average, and a three seventeen on base. So those numbers, they're nothing or totally awful in my opinion. But the last few weeks, he's just not getting anything going. One home run, four RBIs with a 156 batting average and a 208 on base with two runs scored. So he's off to a hot start, like I mentioned early in the season. But the last couple games for Tapia, it's just been a total train wreck for him. And it's been a tough sledding right now. And fantasy owners, they're starting to get fed up with him. And they're starting to drop him in some fantasy leagues. And the last few games for him, May 24th at the Mets for 4, May 25th at the Mets for 4, May 27th in a doubleheader at the Mets, 1 for 5 with an RBI. May 29th, a doubleheader at Pittsburgh, 1 for 8. And May 30th, 1 for 5 at Pittsburgh. So Tapia, he just can't get anything going. And right now, they're opening up a set today with the Texas Rangers. But he's only got three hits, Tapia, in about the last 25 at bat. So he's in a bad slump. And he's not doing anything else in fantasy to really garner a roster spot unless you're in deeper leagues. So right now with him not hitting the ball, stealing bases, or even driving runs in, he's an easy drop this week. The next hitter, I would drop Jesus Aguilar of the Miami Marlins. So Aguilar, he was a big ad early in the season where he got off to a huge start. But right now Aguilar, he's been a slump as well. But on the season, nine home runs, 38 RBIs, 254 batting average at 321 on base and 19 runs scored but the last couple weeks for Aguilar no home runs six RBIs one run scored a 167 batting average and a 169 on base so Aguilar yeah if he's gonna bat low at least show some power but he hasn't hit a home run like I mentioned in the last two weeks some fantasy owners they dropped him in three percent of fantasy leagues and Aguilar he's in a big slump like I mentioned the power is going and this, the batting average is going down as well. So the last few games for Aguilar, May 25th versus Philly 0 for 4. May 26th versus Philly 2 for 4 with an RBI. May 27th, he walked and got an RBI with the bases loaded. May 28th at Boston 0 for 3. And May 29th at Boston 1 for 5 in that game. So right now, Aguilar, he's just struggling. He's not hitting the baseball. And his strikeouts have gone up a little as well. So right here... While he's in a slump, I still think he could break out, but he's not getting power, and he's not hitting the baseball, and I think there's better options on the waiver wire this week. The next hitter, I would look to drop this week's Alec Baum of the Philadelphia Phillies. So Baum, he came up last season as their top prospect in the Philly organization, and so far this season, he's been a train wreck, and I thought this guy would be a good sleeper coming into fantasy drafts in the offseason, but right here this season, four home runs, 24 RBIs, 
a 205 batting average, 244 on base when 19 runs scored, and a high strikeout rate, 57 in 190 at bats. So right now, Baum, he's just not getting anything going. Last season was a great rookie year for him with a 338 batting average in 160 at bats, but this season he's gone totally opposite of what he's done this year in the last couple of weeks for Baum. It gets even worse. No home runs, two RBIs, a 132 batting average, 214 on base, and two runs scored. So Alec Baum, fantasy owners, they're starting to get tired of him not producing, and they've dropped him in 3% of fantasy leagues. And also, it wouldn't surprise me if the Phillies sent down Baum for a few weeks just to work on mechanics and his swing here to get things back kicking into gear, because right now he's sitting at an awful 132, like I mentioned the last few weeks. He's striking out at a pretty high rate, and he hasn't done much at all, really, in the last two weeks as well. So the last few games for Boehm, May 24th in Miami, 0 for 4. May 25th in Miami, 0 for 2. May 26th, he sat that one out. May 27th in Miami, 1 for 4. May 29th at Tampa, 0 for 4. May 30th at Tampa, 0 for 3. So Alec Boehm and May 31st, he didn't play in that one. At Cincinnati, so Boehm right now, they're starting to bench him more. And he's only got one hit, Boehm, since May 22nd. So he's in a super slump. And right now, there's no reason to hold on to him, even though he's got great upside. But right now, he's not cutting it for fantasy owners or the Phillies. And the final hitter I would look to drop this week is Miguel Sano of the Minnesota Twins. So Miguel Sano, another weird guy with the power and the numbers. And so, no, he got on a hot streak the last couple weeks with the power. But the batting average is down, as usual. And the strikeouts are up. So, so far in the season for Sano, 9 home runs, 22 RBI, 17 runs scored, 168 batting average, a 288 on base percentage, and 55 strikeouts and 125 at bat. So, this guy's pretty much a home run, a walk, or a strikeout for the most part in the last couple weeks. Ficino, six home runs, 14 RBIs, a 208 batting average, a 263 on base, and eight runs scored. So Sano, early in the season, I recommended him as a drop. Then he got hot once again and was a wave of wire pickup, but right now he's in one of his slumps. And that three home run game is which really catapulted him to get back on the fantasy radar. But the last few games here for Sano, May 25th versus Baltimore, 0 for 4. May 26th versus Baltimore, 1 for 3. With a homer and three ribeye stakes. May 28th, 0 for 4. May 29th versus Kansas City, 0 for 2. May 30th versus Kansas City, 0 for 4. And then May 31st at Baltimore, 0 for 4 in that one. So right now, Sano, he's just not getting hits. He's striking out at a high rate. And there's no reason to keep him on your team unless you're in the deepest of leagues and need some power. Because besides the power, this guy just brings nothing but negatives to your fantasy baseball team. So that's a few hitters I would look to drop here in week nine of the fantasy baseball season.